and welcome back to the Paul Dolan Details channel to a rather belated Halloween edition. Yeah, Halloween products. There's been a few of these floating around and I'm rather late to the party. Work got in the way, life got in the way, so here it is. Here is my little bit of Halloween for you. Better late than never. Right, Blue from Alien Magic. Now we are not sponsored by Alien Magic, although Rob does send down an awful lot of stuff. Got to say that right from the beginning of the video. I'm not sponsored, but he does send down a lot of stuff. This is blue, or Palmer Violet scented, heavily scented blue snow foam. Now, there are two camps. There are people that hate coloured snow foams. There are people that love coloured snow foams. These will get you noticed. If you don't really like coloured snow foams, think about it. If you were doing this on someone's drive, preferably not block paved, more about that later on, and you want to get a little bit noticed by the general public or by the neighbours, then it might be for you. So stick around for this one. So we have Palmer Violet Scented Blue Snow Foam. Uh, this one, this is an iron fallout remover, but it's scented with grapefruit. Now, it is there, but you can still tell, I can still tell that it's fallout remover. By the way, this stuff is fast. Stick around. That's the fallout remover. We'll start with a snow foam. What car are we gonna be using this on? We're gonna actually use it on my Skoda. It's rather dirty. It has been used quite regularly lately, but it's also been sat in our depot. So it's covered in bird muck and all sorts of stuff. Now, don't get confused with snow foam and uh, citrus pre-washes. You can use uh, citrus pre-wash underneath this for a bit more bite. I'm gonna put it up to the horrible test of cleaning my car, especially around the rear. You'll see a quick 50-50 on that where it's really bad. We'll just see how strong this stuff is. And then with the iron fallout remover, I've borrowed my neighbor's car over the road. He's Mark One Focus to use one of his wheels. So he now has three dirty wheels and one very, very clean wheel. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, grab a massive bowl of Marks and Spencer's cheesy nachos. It's really nice. And I haven't fallen off the wagon completely. I haven't had a beer for seven weeks, but I have had a few cheeky gin and tonics. I think they're allowed. I think. Anyway, I went right through October with no alcohol whatsoever. So, well done me. Don't all clap at once. Roll the video. So here we go then. Normally you'd see me pressure wash the wheels down. But I thought I'd skip that bit. You've all seen me do that before. So make sure you power wash your wheels down first before you attempt any cleaning. It'll make things a damn sight easier and give your chemicals a chance. That is high definitions rage. 100 mil in a one litre trigger spray. And we have our tough shine tire scrubbing brush. If you wonder what those bottles are I'm using, they are the Golden Bird Detail bottles. You'll actually see me using that with the snow foam lance. And I'll put a link underneath the video, do not worry. Wheel woolies this week. There's the argument going where you have wheel woolies and EZ brushes. I think you need both. If you have polished rims like these, it's probably best to use the wheel woolies. If you're doing first time cleans or really dirty wheels, then EZ brushes. If you want to find out more about that, you can watch a video on that. Click on the link after you've watched this, obviously. And if you're wondering what the foamy stuff is, that is wheel shampoo. One wheel shampoo from Garage Therapy. 20 ml of that in a bucket. Put your power washer in, froth it up, away you go. Now, with some suspicious hand motion, I'm using the uh, wheel mitt. Well, it's actually one of my older wash mitts. Always keep your wash mitts, your older ones. Handy for jobs like this. Sometimes it's just better just to get in there rather than mucking around with a detail brush. It's a lot quicker. You can get to the back of the spokes. and you should get all of it. Now you can rinse it down, yay. Right, now the pre-wash stage, blue snow foam. Get yourself a jug. You want around 100 ml to 900 ml of water. 
Told you it was blue. Look at that. Strong stuff, isn't it? So you can use warm water for this if you really want to. It should aid your cleaning process. I've always used cold personally. I don't find um, I have the time to get running in, in and out of doors, getting warm water. Well, that's the weirdest cocktail I've ever seen. So here we go. So first impressions, it's fairly thick and it sticks. Is it really that blue? Let me know what you think in the comments section. First application. Spoiler alert. There is a hint of blueness there. So I didn't muck about with the camera settings. I've just got it on uh, normal auto white balance. Didn't put any filters on. This is what you're seeing. Now you can obviously put citrus on first, you can spray the lower parts of the car if you're going for a really harsh winter clean. We're going to give this a tough test today, as you'll see that on the back of the car. This is dwelling. all the time is softening what is ever on the car. Don't get confused with TFRs, traffic film removers. Yeah, a bit messy. Whoops. The old Neil is getting a bit of a splattering. Where it drips, you can actually see the blue dripping out. So, not convinced. I put 50 mil in extra, so we're at 150 mil now. So, I found this reduced a lot thicker foam, obviously, because there's more chemical, but also there seems to be a, a damn sight bluer. Also, before you do it, shake it in the bottle, it needs to be shook up. You probably think, what is the point of all this? Well, if you are doing a detail, or you're doing a, a, a regular valet job, this could get you noticed. Neighbors might come out and say, what's that? You know, get chatting. They just might see what you're doing. Use it to promote your business. It is a bit of fun after all. It's a gimmick. It's a sales gimmick. That's what it's for. Bit of fun. Don't use this on block paved drives. Do not use this on like stone chip drives with colored chippings. It does say that in the bottle. Precaution there, obviously. Top tip for you, wheel woolies in your front grill. If you have a grill like this, grab one of the wheel woolies. Either the middle size one or the smallest one. That's the middle size one. The old kebab on a stick. It's a damn sight quicker than using a detail brush. Once you've given this around 10 minutes, it's time for the rinse down stage. Let me see what we're left with. So remember, all this is doing is softening what is actually on the clear coat. It's not exactly gonna strip everything off. There are some snow foams out there, some stronger ones, no doubt. Pressure washer wise, we're using the Neil Fisk C135i with the quick release attachments.
Not a lot of protection left on that car, I can tell you. So like most cars, around the back is always the worst. That accumulates and dumps itself on the arse end. So a quick 50-50. Right hand side being cleaned first. You can still see the dirt on the left clearly. So for a snow foam, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Considering that the protection levels that have been left on my car are pretty much a zilch. As I'm constantly stripping and retesting stuff. So that is the snow foam, okay? Quite a quick video, that one. On to the wheels. Now, borrowed my neighbor's car over the road. He's Mark One Focus. He never cleans his car. It's his battle bus. He uses this to put building materials in. He doesn't clean it. So I thought, I'm not gonna use any APC, not gonna use any TFRs. We're gonna go straight in with the fallout remover. Not best practice, but it shows the chemical reaction far quicker, and we're gonna see what this stuff can actually do. Can it clean the wheel as well? So give it a fighting chance, obviously rinse down, or you're just gonna spray chemical over the top of dirt, and that is just pointless. Looks good on Instagram, but it's a very, very poor test. So when you're spraying it, you don't get that instant hit of rotten egg like you do with most fallout removers. There is a hint of something there. Is it grapefruit? Yeah, it kind of is. That's one minute dwell time. It's that quick. No agitation needed so far. Two minutes. It's really starting to get to work now. It's changing colour. Now, some of you might think, don't bother agitating it. I would, personally. If you want to get the best out of this, three minute mark. Now remember, don't use this in direct sunlight. We're lucky in Britain, we only get two weeks of sun every year. So agitation time, using the EZ wheel brushes now. That's the mini version. Chemical resistant. Now it's great using detail brushes, it looks great on camera, but unless they're chemical resistant, they're just gonna fall apart. Especially the generic ones, the cheaper ones. So while you're doing this, you can see it start to froth up. Old neighbors are gonna love me. Snow foam in the road, now we've got fallout. Yeah, put it in the hole, Paul. Put some glasses on or put, put something around there. Only once missed a hole before. I got slapped around the face for it. Chemical resistant brush there, the Atlas the brush. These are a godsend, these. They do a soft one and they do a firm one. I think the firmer one is generally used for engine bays. Quite harsh. Or commercials. And the very popular Vican wheel brush or soft face brush. You can use this for convertible roofs, believe it or not. I've had that brush years, I just keep going on and on these things. Once again, links for these brushes underneath the video. I should have been a double glazing salesman.
pretty much light and day to what we started with. So just how bad were they? Offside rim. It's got that yellowy tinge to it as well. There's all the black fallout. Near side. And that is it, ladies and gents. I see a very quick video this week. What, you've been shortchanged? No sexy B-roll at the end? No, I got right involved this week. I just finished my car and I didn't bother filming the rest. I didn't think it was that important, to be honest with you, as this was a pre-wash and a fallout video. Don't worry, you'll get the full shebang in many videos to come. What do we actually think about blue snow foam? Is it just like a gimmick? Is it just a waste of time? Well, of course it's a gimmick. It's a bit of a laugh. Don't take this too seriously. You know, we, we need a good laugh at the moment, let's face it. Um, there is a word of caution when using this, obviously. Block paved drives, you know, pattern drives, probably light colored stone chip drives. You're not gonna wanna use it on that. Hence me using it in the road. I can just sort of dilute it down, flush it down, and then just wind up angling water, to be honest with you, and just get rid of it. Although it does hang around a lot. It really does hang around. I mean, 150 mil of this stuff, it goes on like yogurt. It's gonna hang around, let's face it. It's gonna make life better for a pre-wash. You could put citrus underneath and get that longer dwell time. Um, as far as cleaning power is concerned, it's not up there with the strongest stuff. It's a snow foam at the end of the day. You know, you've got your traffic film remo removers and uh, citrus-based products, which are going to knock this for six, to be honest with you. But it's, it works okay. You know, the, the back of the car was minging. You saw with a 50-50, it removed most of the stuff, but there was still some stuff on there. So don't expect miracles. It's a snow foam at the end of the day. The smell is insane. You'll get that... You know, when you're using it, you'll get that whiff of it and it will get people talking. Let's just to be honest, it's a bit of a laugh, all right? Just take it, take it as a bit of a laugh, right? So that's the snow foam. Now, the more nitty gritty technical stuff, the grapefruit scented fallout remover. There is a little hint of grapefruit, very, very subtle. It doesn't smell too eggy. But the biggest thing for me is the cleaning power and the speed this stuff works. I time this, I went a minute, two minutes three minutes it does say allow three minutes it also says you don't really have to agitate it although if needed agitate with a chemical resistant brush by the way you can get those brushes underneath this video via the amazon links don't just use a normal one because it'll just disintegrate and fall apart and you'll ruin your best brushes agitate it it works even better and then you power wash it off and not only did it remove all the iron out it removed the grime as well that tins that horrible stuff so that really impressed me so these products are limited edition they are on the website or they should be by the time this video goes out still hit up the website down below and all the amazon affiliate links let me know what you think about using colored snow foams let me know if you think it's a waste of time if you think it's a bit of a laugh you know just let us know good or bad put your comments in underneath this video Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. As always, look after yourselves. See you on the next one.